The public beta for iPadOS 15 is now available for download. We can finally talk about iPadOS 15 and share our first impressions on it. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. We do not advise downloading any beta software on your main device. It is usually buggy and can cause your device to malfunction or even delete some data or files. If you haven't already, you can sign up for the Apple beta software program or simply sign in if you're already a member. Select the operating system you want to try. In our case, we went for iPadOS. Then you can enroll your iPad. Scroll down and download the profile, then allow it. After that, go to your iPad settings under general to install the profile. There's a lot of information to read for those of us that don't like leaving anything to chance. Before downloading any beta software, make sure to back up your device in case you want to revert back to the old iPad OS. Then you have to restart your iPad. We had to stop the recording for this so we can't show it. You can then go to your software update and install later. We're very excited about the flexibility of having widgets on any home screen page. The previous setup was a bit restrictive, no matter how creative you are. If these were not analog watches, we'd probably keep the screen full of watches for practical reasons. The bigger widgets are very exciting and we love them. They fit more information on our pages. Apple has added some nice changes to our widgets. They no longer disappear when you change your iPad to portrait mode. They've also added widgets for some applications that didn't have them before. That's App Store, Contact, Find My, Game Center, and Mail. Widgets for App Store would have been more useful if they alerted us on new updates. App Library groups your applications into categories. Only Apple knows why. It's supposed to let you see all your applications at once, but it doesn't actually do that, does it? Each category displays a maximum of seven apps in this library. You still have to tap it to see all the applications in it. How is that showing all your applications? You also don't have any control over these categories. You can't rename them, rearrange the applications, or decide where the applications go. If anything, because this is not your organization, it is even more difficult for you to find what you need. We already have the option to group our applications already. You can now hide home screen pages you don't need. In our case, it was all of them. You can also remove this useless app library from the dock and we look forward to completely removing the dock too. Anyone else loving this minimalist look on the iPad? Even with this minimalist look, it's very easy to find your applications on the iPad, at least if you know the application you want. It's faster than opening the app library. Are we missing something? Is there some extremely useful thing you can do with app library that we've not figured out yet? Multitasking has been reimagined for iPadOS 15. We love the fact that multitasking doesn't rely on the dock anymore. You can now split view with any application on your device, which will certainly make us more productive. It is easy to replace an app from split view by swiping down to pick another one. And you don't even have to scroll through all your home pages. Just search for the application you need to work even faster. When split viewing in iMessage, you can open a message in the center. This is an unnecessary extra step when the app is already open. You can move your center message to the app shelf. This gives you quick access to all the open instances for the application. This appears in any app that has multiple instances open and you can easily switch between them. In iMessage, however, it opens the instance in the center, unlike in Apple Calendar and Safari where it replaces the split view. You can even add new windows to it and close the ones you no longer need. You can now split view applications in the app switcher. It doesn't get more efficient than this. 
Apple really worked on multitasking for iPadOS 15 and we love the updates. We can now delete Safari from our iPads. Who else has ever wanted to delete Safari? Well, now you can. But before you jump on that, there are some cool features that will make you keep the application. But we'll cover those in a separate video because Safari is effectively a very different application in iPadOS 15. This technology has been around for years. In the past, we've had to rely on applications like Google Keep to extract information from our pictures. To demonstrate how this works, we'll take a screenshot in Liquid Text. You can select text to copy for pasting in another app, Lookup. Translate the selection or share plain text. Copying to paste in another application is best with prose and text that is structured simply. But if your content has a unique structure, you'll spend some time organizing what you just pasted. It's still better than attempting to type out text from a photo, isn't it? This is absolutely amazing, especially for those of us who have been wanting to convert handwritten notes to digital copies. You can interact with numbers, emails, web links to preview them. You can tap on addresses to get directions. When you translate something, you can copy the translation, change language from 12 options. You can add the translation to favorites, open in translate. That will also cover in a separate video. Live text also enables us to search the text in our photos. You can now schedule FaceTime calls by creating a FaceTime link that you can share with other people. People can join this from any device using their browsers if they do not have a device that uses iPadOS or iOS 15. You can add people to your meeting and you can even share your screen. These are very exciting updates that will ensure we stop relying on third-party applications like Zoom or Google Meet. To schedule your meeting, you will need to use any calendar app, copy the URL and add it to your meeting details. Your upcoming FaceTime links are readily available for you right here on the sidebar. I would like to watch movies with my family and see if that experience is as good as sitting next to them iPadOS 15 packs a lot of useful features that will certainly improve our productivity. We are going to explore different apps in iPadOS 15. So far, the bugs are plenty and unpleasant. That's to be expected. We hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.